This video will show you how to set up and use direct guest join on your neat devices when they are configured as Zoom rooms. So your organization is using Zoom for all its video meetings, but what happens when a staff member receives a Microsoft Teams meeting from someone outside the organization but still wants to use your neat device like the neat board here, which is configured for Zoom to join a Teams meeting? Well, that's where direct guest join comes into play. So I'll show you how to set up and start using direct guest join on your neat device. The first thing you need to do for direct guest join is go into your Zoom admin portal and enable the direct guest join setting for your Zoom rooms. So scroll down here to room management. You'll only see this if you're a Zoom room admin. Click on Zoom rooms there. You can enable this at the account level or at any level in your hierarchy, but let's turn it on for all Zoom rooms. It's under the meeting tab here. And the easiest way to find settings in Zoom is just to do a control F and search for a keyword, there it is there. So just make sure that toggle is on and make sure that box is ticked. So that will enable direct guest join for Microsoft Teams meetings on your Zoom rooms. Uh, the next thing I can show you is the support article. This Zoom support article is, is great. So reference that if you get stuck, it's uh, got all the prerequisites and any troubleshooting tips that you might come across. And the other thing to show you is this Microsoft support article. So Google that heading there and you'll find this. There's a couple of things you need to do. You need to do some PowerShell commands on each room resource that is associated with your Zoom rooms. Because by default, room resources in Office 365 won't accept external meeting invitations from outside your organization. So running these couple of PowerShell commands will fix that for you. And the other thing is this URL rewrite. Uh, so if you're using software that protects your organization from malicious links, you do need to set up um, an exclusion or an exception for the URL teams.microsoft.com because if that URL is changed in any way, you won't get the join button for um, one button join or direct guest join. So let's go to Outlook now. You can see that I've got a Teams meeting here in my calendar. It's come from me, but this is a demo tenant, so it's come from outside this organization. Uh, that's the URL there. And all the user needs to do is forward this meeting. So they've accepted the Teams meeting, they just need to forward it to their Zoom room, just like forwarding it to another person. Uh, so my meeting room is called Sydney Demo Meeting Room and click Send. The uh, external person who sent these uh, Microsoft Teams meeting will receive the automated response from the Zoom room. Um, that's just something to be aware of. So you as the user, you won't receive that response saying the room's been booked successfully. And then I'll jump back onto the neat board and show you how to join a Teams meeting from your Zoom room. So it's as simple as that for the user. They've forwarded their Teams meeting from Outlook to the meeting room that they want to use. They walk in and find their neat device with a big join button. It actually says Microsoft Teams, so they know it's their Teams meeting. Tap on join. It takes a little while for the neat device to negotiate and get into the Teams meeting. And that's connecting up now. So the meeting has already started. It's up to the host of the Teams meeting to admit the neat device into the Teams meeting because it is a guest. Oh, I can do that from my laptop now just to show you that it joins up okay. So I'm admitting the neat board into the Teams meeting from my laptop because my laptop is the host of the Teams meeting. And there you go, it's as simple as that. On the touchscreen neat board here, so if you didn't have a touchscreen, you would control it via the neat pad on the desk. You have mute controls, stop and start the um, camera. You can have reactions here. You can bring up the participants list and there's some other options there you can have a look at. And to end the meeting, you can just tap on the exit button over here. And that is direct guest join to join a Teams meeting from your Zoom room on your Neat device.